Hello everyone. Here I come with another episode of how to approach the exams successfully. Exit and ace it. Another academic year is ending and as it drifts away, it manages to give us fever and fret, trouble and regret, as well as fame and fortune, depending upon our ability to axe the auger of ex ignorance and ace it by emerging a winner. No need to fall prey to any anxieties and sleepless nights of self-doubt. Change it to a positive mindset of I am a winner and I am going to win. Affirming faith that you can be all, do all and have all. If you think you can, you will. The winning goal goes to the one who thinks he or she can. Prepare a strategy to be a winner. Diligent hours of practice and hard work reap success. God helps those who help themselves. Never indulge in last minute cramming and parroting of your work because this can lead to mind blocks and forgetting and in the end a lot of confusion. Avoid medications during the paper. I did this once and it led to a mental block. When such a thing happens, just keep writing whatever comes to your mind. Don't stop. Just write anything. I was doing a paper on economics and my professor, a very renowned professor, Magima, said, just write whatever comes to mind, any rubbish. I said, oh, I thought to myself, what kind of philosophy is this? But it turned out to be an excellent one because I had taken uh, medication for a stomach ache and that thing had caused a mental block. And by me writing things like money is the be all and end all of existence with money, you are everything. And if you don't have money or nothing, nobody looks at you and nobody bothers about you and things like that. And you won't believe my mind was fighting the effects of that painkiller. And as soon as those began to wear off, because I was fighting it with my mind by writing something, I got the beginning of an answer. I quickly cancelled out the rest of it, wrote please omit and continued. And in the end, I aced that paper. Thanks to my professor and his good advice. If I hadn't done that, I would have been sitting and doing nothing. And I would not have finished my paper and I would not have topped in that class that year. So what I'm saying is just do your preparation, go ahead and then let God take care of the rest. Carry sufficient array of pens, erasers, rubbers or whatever else you need to write with. Never make timetables and leave the changed timetables around. I made a mistake once. I wrote a timetable then the teacher changed it, I wrote another timetable and then the teacher changed it again and I wrote another timetable. At the end of that time, I didn't know which one was the correct one and which one was the uh, changed one. And the result was that I went for my final 11th class exam. And that day I had physics, chemistry and uh, I had uh, home science, psychology and uh, it was scary. But I thank God I had always studied every day and so I was able to get first division marks. So what I'm saying is don't leave the changed and amended timetables around. Destroy them and only keep the current one and make several copies of it. Stick it around your rooms, on your table, on your desk or your cupboard and keep it there so that you don't forget. Never entertain last minute gossip with your friends. Because there are many who will come and try to tell you that, you know, you have not studied this and you have not studied that and you should have touched this side, you should have touched up on that. Then you go and rummage in your bag, take out your book and turn the pages and try to find something. And the neatly arrayed stuff in your mind goes into havoc. It confuses you and you're bound to mess up on other things which you know. So don't uh, get involved in this. It's a ploy to help you. To not score as well as they do. So don't fall for this trick. It's a very old trick. 
So keep a clean head, a cool mind and a brave heart and you will emerge with flying colors. All the best. Take care. Thank you.